Hey guys, welcome back. I'm so happy you tuned in on our Kika Pet Nutrition Academy. So from the last video, uh, we received so many questions on the same topic and I thought we're gonna do the video today about them. Uh, I'm still waiting for... Oh, hi, Paul. Hi, hey, hello, hello. I'm so happy you came. Big pleasure. <laughs> so as I mentioned uh, to our viewers, uh, on the last video, we received so many questions on the same topic. So the topic was that they found it products in the pet shops uh, for cats and dogs that they have different ranges, uh, economy, premium and super premium. So our viewers were very interested, what is the difference between them when they're choosing the product? Should they buy economy or should they buy super premium? Yeah, you know, I, I'm, I'm smiling when I'm listening to this question because this question is following me for uh, for the probably last my 10 years and uh, there is no exact answer because uh, there is no official kind of the segmentation which is the product is economy premium or super premium but there are some kind of the non-written rules how you can realize which product is which one right so for example we start with the product reading the composition and if you see that in the composition the first two ingredients at least they are the uh, uh, plant-based products it can be corn it can be wheat it can be some kind of the rice or we know corn is good yeah but <laughs> but not the meat product then the product is probably economy economy range so in the economy range they are still complete and balanced products they are kind of the meeting the needs of dogs and cats but they are not very in high in high value so they don't bring additional value, additional benefits for the dogs and cats. These products you can find mainly in the supermarkets or in the grocery stores. It depends on the country. When we talk in the premium, the medium range segment. In the past, it was also the products which has not the meat as a first ingredient, but it could have corn or some other products. But nowadays, the medium range as a premium range became higher quality and first ingredient usually is the meat. So this is one of the indicator how you can realize which product, the comparison between premium and economy. And then when we talk about the super premium, so these products are usually, of course, the first ingredient is the meat, but also they have plenty of additional ingredients. Plenty of ingredients which brings you a lot of benefits for the dogs and cats. You can have like a marigold, you can have like green tea, you can have some kind of the yucca extract, etc., etc. So when you see the product, where the composition is the first ingredient meat, maybe even the first, the second, the third, also can be meat. Then you see, then you can understand that it's a super premium product. So nowadays, it's a bit funny because there is new kind of the segmentation, it's called ultra premium. So ultra premium is the products, so-called with the ingredients, which are from organic origin, or ingredients which brings a lot of benefits like superfoods like chia seeds, goya berries, blueberries, etc, etc. So ultra premium is something even more special, but there is no exact classification of all these economy premium, super premium. But if you go to the specialized pet shop, usually you can find only the premium and super premium products. Mm -hmm. So, so they the normally don't sell the economy? It depends again on the country. The more developed the country, the less economy food they have in the pet shop. Okay. Because the pet shop owners, they usually understand what kind of the nutritional needs are required for dogs and cats. That's why they try to sell more super premium or premium products. Mm -hmm. So is, would, would it be true if I say, if the meat is the first ingredient, that it might be premium or super premium? Yes, it's the first indicator. It's the okay. first indicator. And then you additionally in the packaging, you look in the icons, what kind of the additional benefit product brings. The more value the product has, the higher classification it goes in. Okay. And there is a, also one more kind of the classification that's called holistic. So you can see many brands, especially coming from the North America. So holistic is the, the product, is actually the more branding, which they think that it's a number one classification, but in general it's the same super premium product from my okay. personal point of view. Okay, thank you so much. I hope we answered that. So from this video, we find out that there's four ranges 
economy, premium, super premium and ultra premium. That's a new thing that we learned. Thank you so much for watching. And again, if you have any comments or any question, please check below. Thank you.